Good morning, Purdue. Welcome back to the installment of Scott Selections here for Thursday, August 5th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We ended up picking up a loss with the Orioles and Yankees, no score first inning at plus 110 on DraftKings. Line dropped to plus 105, didn't matter. Tyone, who was phenomenal for the last month, gave up a bloop single, followed by another bloop single as the first two batters got on base. Then you had a sack fly, and the Orioles, of course, ended up scoring from it as we ended up picking up a loss. So we'll look for a bounce back winner here on Thursday, but we're going to be sticking with baseball. It's going to be a daytime game this time between the Angels and the Rangers, and that game's going to be taking place at around 2.05 p.m. Eastern time. And for the play of the day, we'll be looking at the total, and we like the over 9 at minus 106 on FanDuel. Time recording of 1.47 a.m. Eastern time. Cumberton's why I like the over in the spot. First of all, both starting pitchers in this matchup, really, really bad. You have Dylan Bundy on the mound for the Angels, 6.66 ERA and a 1.41 whip. His record is also atrocious, so he's been terrible from start to finish this season. Bundy's also made one start against Texas so far this season, and that did not go well. Five innings pitched, five earned runs, which is equivalent to a nine ERA. Meanwhile, the Rangers have a newcomer on the mound. Spencer Howard, former Phillies pitcher who got shipped off before the deadline, is now a Ranger, and he will be starting for this game. And Philly trade him for a reason. It's not because he's good, because he is not a good pitcher at all. 5.72 ERA and a 1.48 whip. Plus, he has a six ERA on the road. Now, I know that this is technically a home game for Texas, but this is going to be a new ballpark for him. So he has kind of struggled in, let's just say, unfamiliar environments. I think that might end up taking place once again in Thursday's game. Now, one issue you have to keep in mind is the fact that both starting pitchers don't exactly go length. Bundy can usually go six when he's pitching well, which is very, very few and far between. Howard mostly goes five max. I'd be shocked if he got the five in this start. Probably going to go about four or so. And that's a problem because both bullpens are also really bad. The Angels have the ninth highest bullpen ERA in the league. Meanwhile, the Rangers have the 12th highest bullpen ERA in the league. So even if these starters pitch relatively well, if they don't really eat up many innings, you should see a lot of underwhelming relief pitchers, which could lead to a lot of scoring chances. Plus, since the total is a nine, in this matchup, you do have an extra inning draw for a uh, push at eight, at a 4-4, four to four, of course. I do think you'll end up seeing both teams have a lot of scoring chances, especially with the wind blowing out to left field at about 7 miles per hour. So a couple of fly balls might turn into home runs, and I do think that will happen a couple of times in this one. But with terrible starting pitchers and terrible bullpens, I think this total is too low, and I do think you'll steal this line probably close at around 9.5 or so by first pitch. Let's play there once again. Here for Thursday, August 5th is going to be on the Angels and the Rangers over nine at minus 106 on FanDuel. Bye, everyone.